Right, hi everyone, and welcome back to Carver Park Farm. We're going to be doing some fertilizer spreading today. Uh, but first, do you notice anything different about the traffic today? Well, Bullet Bill 83 is once again working on a new mod, and it actually adjusts the travelling speed of the cars. I've mentioned before that they go really slow because they only go 20 miles per hour, uh, but he's increasing it to 30, these are doing 30, and also that also means because obviously they're going quicker there's going to be a, a bigger stopping distance, so they've been uh, widened so they don't come and crash into you. And also if you stop a car, it won't just suddenly set off at full speed, it won't go from 0 to 30 in a second, it will gradually increase speed. So we'll just see that quickly. And as you can see, increasing speed. And stopping distances, that's increased as well. So nice little thing there, work in progress. And I'm going to keep it on. I really like this new work in progress mod. But I'm sure he'll give you some more details about that soon. So on to today's job. We're going to be doing some fertilizer spreading, like I said. And there are two fields at least to do. They're not very big though. So I'm now actually traveling behind the vehicles without having to overtake them. Because it used to get really annoying when you had to overtake in a tractor. It's overtake a car. So it's going to be much better. Right, we're back at the yard then. Here's the fertilizer spreader. It's good that we start off with one. And we'll refill that. Now it gets through it much quicker than the drill gets through the seed, so I'm going to do a full load. And we'll head over to the two fields which need to be done. Get maximum yield possible out of the fields. So the first one, which looks like it's on the first, first growth stage now, I think it is. Oh actually, it looks to be quite established. It is. I've got my uh, growth rate on slow and the time in real time, so that is quite incredible. That that is already that established. I think next time I'm going to use the slurry tanker or the manure spreader. It's only because I've already drilled it, so I'm using this. actually it, I think I've covered everything. So no, that really does not take long. On to the next field. This one's better because it's not even started to grow yet.
Right, so actually a really quick job there and it didn't use half as much as I thought it would. Okay, so that field will be good now when it grows. Maximum yields and we should get a lot of profit out of that. So this field um, I'm going to do, this grass field that we're in now. Right, so the next job today is going to be doing some silaging. Um, this is going to be in the form of just grass from the field, uh, not the maize or anything. But this is £804 per tonne, which is quite incredible. So we're going to be doing that. So once we've put this away, we'll go and put the mower on. Or the mowers on, actually. Got two now. And we won't need the front loader for this. So we'll drop that off in here. Right. Off to get the mowers then. Yes, yeah, so much better the cars driving at this speed. Uh, so, uh, the tether is in the way. Just fetch that out. And then we should be able to get the mowers out as well. Okay, so up to the field. We're not going to get too much out of it. It's a relatively small field. Right, here we are. So rear mower on, front mower on, and let's see how quickly we can do this. Again, I'm not going to take all these uh, weeds out, no point in doing that. But the good thing with this new version is we won't have the gates opening up into us. That was one of the big problems before, I used to go around the field and uh, the gate will just keep opening. Luckily there was no collisions on them though. Definitely makes a big difference having a double mower instead of just that rear one.
Okay. So, final little bit there. Just lift the mows up again. And there we go, all done. Field complete. And we'll take these back and bring the windrower. And this time we will have the follow me mod going and the case tractor can be following us. I'll just go and find it. I think it's in there somewhere. Pretty sure it's in here. Yep. So we'll get this out and we'll have this following our tractor. It can also pick up everything after us and then we'll have to go and take it to the clamp uh, which should be in the complex of the biomass heating plant. I'm hoping. And we should be able to sell it. Okay, no trail there. Just reverse here. There we go. So that's all good. Brilliant. And yep, we should be able to uh, get there in one piece. When we get to the end here, I'll have to wait for a big enough gap for both of us to pull out or the faster traffic will wipe out the case. Clear that way, clear that way, good. No accidents today. Oh, spoke too soon. Drop those off here and drop the front one off as well. Uh, we probably actually would be better putting this tractor on the windrower. They can both power it fine though, so it doesn't really matter anyway. And the New Holland on the forage wagon. Okay, beacons on. Again, I'm going to have to try and wait for a big gap here. Quite hard to see now. Uh, clear, clear, go. Come on, New Holland. Just have to get a few things set up here. And this should, fingers crossed, all go smoothly. Should be able to get the whole operation done really quick. Uh, now one thing I'm a bit wary about is obviously the turning. 
that tractor is not going to have the same turning circle with that on the back as this one does so really I can't go too tight on the bends so I might just have to finish off afterwards manually just to pick up any bits it's missed on the corners but I'm going to try and go up and down the field as straight as I possibly can make it as easy as possible for it yeah that's working quite well It's not the best field ever to be doing on the follow me mod, but it does seem to be working okay. One of the much larger squarer sized ones would be ideal. Probably field number 22, 19, 21, 20 probably would work. I would just go around in a circle if I was doing it on my own, but I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for that worker to not miss anything. So, finishing touches here, and then I'll just go around quickly, pick up anything he's missed. I'd imagine it's almost full actually. Looks quite full. Okay, that's me done. Yeah, ninety six percent. So if I can just fill it, get as much as I possibly can in. That'd be the most economical way of doing it. If I have got enough lying around. There should be all these bits which have been missed on the corners. Okay, well maybe not then. But 98% still isn't too bad. Okay, so here we go. Off to the biogas plant. That's left here. Nice sign for there. One mile away. So we should be able to get quite a bit out of this. Maybe not instantly. But when we actually do sell it. Here we are, end of the line. And this should be where we're dropping it all off. Okay, so here goes. So we do have to let this ferment before we can do anything else to it. Just compact it in. Now it might be because we've only got actually filled this 2% that we actually have to do a lot more before we can clamp it. It's one of those things where when we've got enough of it we'll be able to make a lot of money out of it. We'll just do it gradually I think. So yeah, it's 100% compacted, but we obviously do not have enough there 
to ferment it. So it's a start, it's only 2%, but if we do a bigger field, we should be able to do a lot better out of that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is take this back to the yard and then we'll continue with something else tomorrow. I'm not sure what yet, but I'm glad we've made a start on that. Yeah, I uh, went the long way around there. Uh, I could have easily just cut across this field. But we'll take the other tractor back too. And just put them in the yard. I'm not going to move the tractors because I don't actually know where I need them tomorrow so they can stay where they are and this one which is harder to reverse yeah, that should be alright so hopefully you've enjoyed the video again today thanks for watching everyone and you can join me again tomorrow for more Cobra Park Farm thanks for watching and bye for now